Hello, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start uh there is acrylic painting. I'm gonna mention the colors here. I have titanium white, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, ultramarine blue, and Mars black. The critics uh, I'm using is uh, uh, PBO. Okay. I'm gonna start using white charcoal to sketch. Okay. Let's see, just one second. Okay, here's gonna be my space for mixing the colors. And here I'm going to draw the horse. Okay, first, just with just few lines, I'm gonna just place the position of the horse head. Okay, and it looks like some, I always try to always simplify. I think this could work. Okay, in this way I see if uh, I'm gonna make it bigger or smaller. Okay. Let's see, I got the head here. Now I'm gonna try to add some few details, like for example here. It's not gonna be just one line, it's gonna make two lines, one more here, one more here, okay? Then here, and uh, measuring the eye is kind of halfway, halfway from the top to the bottom, kind of here. And for the ears, basically, I can use two triangles to draw the ears. Okay. okay. Now I started with just four lines. Now I got more. Okay. Mm. Okay. Here, for example, I'm gonna make a curve. Yeah, okay, it's more like that. Now, I'm gonna check out the alignment between the eyes. This one is this one is aligned to an axis, a horizontal axis. Here, I place place one eye. Now, I'm gonna try to simplify that eye to any just simple flat shape. I think I can just just this kind of triangle and then make a curve here a curve a curve and I can got the eye the iris here okay let's draw the shadow okay now a little bit more details here on the mouth nostril again you know for to draw the nostril you see what I'm doing basically just simple shape kind of a square okay and the mouth is around here okay again let's see the shadows I'm gonna draw shadows here right shadows Hello, Bob, Bob Lissax. Welcome. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna paint this chain here. Maybe that's gonna be too much details. I'm planning to paint maybe for a couple of hours. Okay, just 
just want me to take, keep forgetting. The spray water. Okay, hello, up near. Okay, I got that. Uh, for the background, you know, here, aligned with the eyes, I see the, uh, I don't know what is that, but let's say the horizon. Now you see more like, uh, as you can see, straight lines. I started just with four, with four lines, and now I got a lot. Uh, I think it's better. I, I can feel when I see the drawing like this, I can feel a solid structure, okay? And obviously from here I move and make curves everywhere. But for the beginning, it doesn't matter what I paint, I always try to start just with a straight lines and have a more uh, how can I say he geometrical structure for saying some way okay now that I got this I'm gonna use a fan brush I'm gonna erase a little bit of my drawing because I'm using charcoal you know pretty light okay that now, next step, I'm gonna start painting. Uh, I'm gonna use, I got just synthetic brushes, different sizes. You see, fiber, mostly fiber brushes. You see the shape of a fiber brush, kind of rounded. Yeah, and round brushes, these ones. And I got a couple of uh, fan brushes. Okay, now, I'm gonna think about uh, values and how, how to simplify this, okay? I see light and shadows. Obviously, it's not pretty clear to see the shadows here. Now, uh, I'm gonna start painting, you know, uh, the shadow here and then the light, but not, not the light like uh, the, the same color I see here. Yeah, I'm gonna start just with a mid-tone, okay? Because on top of that mid-tone, I'm gonna add lights and highlights, okay? Okay, I wet one brush, I have figure wire, I do this, and I do this, or sometimes I have paper towel, and I do this, okay? Okay, let's, uh, I have few colors because I just wanna simplify mixtures. Look at the color of the shadow, it looks like brown, you know, we got brown basically mixing, mixing orange, yellow and red, and adding blue. This blue is coming down. Okay, there. And blue. Okay. Now, it's, that, it's too dark, it's too light. Uh, do you prefer to start with a uh, transparent layer, more opaque layer? It's up to anyone. With acrylic, you know, we have so many options because it dries too fast that we can glaze, we can scumble, we can repaint any area. Okay, I got this color here. And I'm gonna paint just the shadows. I'm squinting down my eyes. Just trying to pay attention to the shadows, okay? To just like imagine that what you try to copy something flat okay a little bit more water okay now what I don't want is sharp edges okay I have another brush here it's wet and I'm going to soften 
edges here. Well, it's trying too fast on this. I'm pressuring a little bit harder to reactivate acrylic. Okay. There. That's what I want. Spray a little bit of water here, all over the canvas, you know, here it's pretty hot, we're in summer, and definitely that's going to affect how fast the acrylic dries. I like the, obviously, that the acrylic dry faster, I don't want to just make it, make it dry slower. Remember when I work for acrylics, I'm counting that the acrylics do not dry faster, sometimes I just want to have a few times to blend a little bit. Then, then it's going when it, it could become kind of frustrating when it dries on you. But anyway, okay. Okay, that's just a uh, first layer for the shadows. Also, well, is asking me what time is in Peru now. Here is 1.45 p.m. Okay. Uh, what I do is just wet my brush with here my spray bottle and pick up clean brush. Okay, now I'm gonna paint this side of the face. It's pretty light, but I'm not gonna paint obviously that white. I gotta think on a mid tone. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna mix again orange, a touch of blue. It's kind of the same mixture for this. More white, less blue. Okay, let's see. I think this color is okay. Now, I'm thinking that I'm going to add lights on top of this color, okay? I want a mid-tone. I don't want to copy the exact, exact same color that I see on the photograph. I want a, a base color. And because I want to work on top of that one, adding lights. Okay, and now, just with the same brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of blue. I'm going to paint the sky. I have ultramarine blue and white. That's going to be okay for the sky now, but I think I'm going to add uh, cerulean, cerulean blue maybe. water okay oh I forget something I gotta paint you know this portion with the same color that I have here I gotta paint the body with the same color. Okay. So the same is midnight in India, yeah. and so is is same at the same time. And your subscribers on all three channels. Thank you so much, so so Okay. The 
see now uh, for here in green uh, I, I see some variations a little bit darker here a little bit lighter you can just pick up just one mix one green and for now since it's the first layer you can just paint just one color okay uh, you have green if you want to knock down green you 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 mix the green with the opposite color in the color wheel what's the opposite color red okay a touch of red a touch of orange is gonna knock down green okay now we have more options to knock down any color we can obviously the first option is always use the opposite color in the color wheel and the other option is just uh, knock down the color with gray that means black and white that's just for uh, let's say specific reasons and I won't suggest using black if somebody doesn't have enough experience because black is gonna knock down a color too much okay it's a beautiful color but gotta be careful Sometimes it's just easier to knock down a color using the opposite color. Okay. Got that? Mm -hmm. Something simple. Okay. Uh, now I knock down completely the canvas. Okay. Uh, that's my first step. Okay. Now the second step that's gonna be just uh, obviously uh, kind of repeat this again, but trying to be uh, trying to get closer on the mixtures, and at the same time adding a little bit more details. Obviously, now that I have more on my canvas, obviously it's easier to compare. And I can see that, for example, this is too reddish and too dark. Yeah. If, if you want to kind of retouch this, like kind of repeating the, the first step, feel free to do it, okay? My second step usually it goes about mixing more values because I have here just one value that's for the shadow, one value for the mid-tone and the other, the other is just to knock down the color around okay now let's say that I don't like this color I, 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 I don't want to work on top of that one then you can just spend more time and just mix here again and since now it's easy to compare just spend a little bit more time trying to get closer to that color you know okay any color obviously uh, you wanna match that's gonna be just it's gonna take you just more time just mixing okay spray water always just to keep it wet to keep it uh, okay, I'm just uh, stepping back a little bit. Mm. Okay. Okay, this is too reddish, you know. To knock down a color that's too reddish, what would you use? What would you do? You use the opposite color in the color wheel. If something is too reddish, what you add? Green. In this case, if you if you work with a simple palette like this, in order to get green, you need to just mix here. You know, more yellow, more blue, until you got a color that's pretty close. Okay. Now, I'm going to try again. 
What do you think? Is closer? No, remember, feel free to just paint this and repaint this so many times. Even if this color is not okay, since the acrylic dries faster, I'm going to be able to retouch it in no time. Okay? That's why I don't work with any any product that's going to slow down the dry time because I'm counting on be able to retouch and retouch again and again. Okay. Looked, it was closer at the beginning, my first brush stroke. Now you can see it's not, it's not close enough. I'm going to spend more time just here mixing more red, more yellow. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to say that it's closer. To a little bit closer than before, but obviously not that close. I need to make it a little bit darker. Yeah. With a primary palette, like this one, it's going to be just about staying more here. Picking up a little bit of each one, yellow, red, and blue. Okay. more water take your time don't hurry up at the end if the painting dries on you that's okay I'm not, I'm not so worried that you know like I mentioned before I'm counting on that because every time that the paint dries faster I'm just gonna repeat this process I can repeat this process so many times until I got pretty close. Okay, for sure, one thing that I want, I don't want, one thing that I don't want, sorry, is just, I don't want sharp edges, okay? Okay. Now, with my palette, with brushes here on my table, I'm gonna pick up a round brush because I want to work on the terrace. Okay. Enrique me dice, no usas paleta húmeda? Uh, uh, no. No, no, no uso paleta húmeda. Es solamente lienzo. I say, I'm saying that I don't use any wet palette. This is just my canvas, and I'm using a portion of the canvas for mixing the colors. Okay? Okay, now. I can pick up this color here. Yeah, that's good. With this round brush. And I'm going to try to just paint some details. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can paint a little bit and have a clean brush for blending. Okay, let me 
mix again orange and blue I got some brown I got the photograph next to my canvas and this way I can compare easily okay and for example that helps a lot for the position of the eye you know because I check out just with the photograph I squint down my eyes I can just hold the brush and I can see that the lightning is pretty good the bottom the nostril the eyes top of the head yeah that helps definitely a lot okay I always keep suggesting that because I see that so many people work paint from the, the your cell phones and I mean that's pretty difficult try to I mean it's not it's not just about copying it's about try to you know painting something smaller and make it a little a little bigger a lot bigger is it's kind of scale things up and that uh, add more you know add more difficulty to the to the painting process okay I got few details not that much I'm gonna just again mix more paint, more blue, a little bit darker. Okay, I think that's good. Keep my brush here, it's a little bit wet and I soften edges it's not like the acrylic paint is going to dry that fast that you won't have the time to pick up your brush for blending and came back here and, and blend a little bit Again, just red, yellow, and ultramarine blue. Got brown. I'm gonna add a touch of black. Okay, that was too much black. A little bit of water. brush for blending I see that the edges on these are uh, rains I think that's the name are pretty sharp anyway I went I went a little bit of some softness here and if I have a mistake it's gonna be you know easier let's say to move it and don't have because it, when I have a sharp a really sharp sharp edge that sharp edge usually stay the stay more we paint on top a kind of that sharp edge edge show through the layers
clean the brush, keep it wet. I'm going on top, like that, just to soften edges, okay? Yeah. Okay. Spraying water on my brushes and on the palette. Start with shadow and mid tone, okay? Okay, I'm gonna paint some of uh, shadows, I mean darker mid tones, let's say, that I see here, here, here. I got two brushes here, this is number four, number eight. I'm gonna just uh, paint with one, one of the brushes and I'm gonna use the other one for soften the brush stroke or for blending, okay? This is my first color. I'm gonna mix a color that is gonna be a little bit darker than this one. I think this color is okay. Let's see here. A little bit dark. I'm squinting down my eyes as much as possible. I lay down the brush stroke. As you see, I use a clean brush, a wet clean brush for blending. this area around the nose is a little bit pinky yeah. okay I'm gonna try to get that color with a glaze Hello Monique, hello Barbara. Okay. Like uh, I'm gonna repeat, okay? I worked the shadow in a mid tone, okay? I'm just uh, working on darker mid tones here and I'm going to add the light in just a minute.
paint and I have a clean brush for softening the edges. Shadow is a little bit darker. work on the lights. Uh, thank you Barbara. Okay. I'm just gonna wait, uh, keeping wet my brushes here. Keeping my brushes wet. Okay, just one second. I need all brushes. Okay, I have a couple of brushes here. Okay, I'm going to paint the lights now. I'm gonna mix white, white, touch of camion yellow, touch of red. Here and I'm going to I'm gonna knock down that or let's say blend it with a clean brush. Yeah. I'm checking, yeah, well, that's too light. I'm gonna uh, just I'm gonna more yellow, more red, a touch of blue. better Light on the upper eyelid. Clean brush for blending.
Back. Mm. I need more yellow for the those, those lights. Yeah, a tiny bit. Okay, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna prepare more of this color. Add more of this here. Okay, let's see that uh, this was a second layer on the face, on the light. Okay, now I'm gonna move again to the background, to the, the sky.
the sky. I'm mixing ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, white, and I'm going to knock down this with black, to touch of black. Ultramarine blue, more black, okay. Okay, need a touch of yellow, just a touch of yellow. A little bit more of cerulean blue and a touch of yellow, more water. I think that's better. Okay. In the green here. With the brush, the tip of the brush is the tip of the brush of water. I'm gonna put it on my table and I pick up another brush. Okay. I need more ultramarine blue. Mix ultramarine blue, a little bit of camion yellow, a touch of red. Okay, let's see. Okay, I need a clean brush. For blending,
Okay, more paint, more ultramarine blue, yellow, a touch of red. This is drying kind of faster. Okay, I'll keep my brush here for blending. Here, a touch of white. bit more white and yellow more yellow a little bit of cerulean blue Okay, I need to step back. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting closer. Obviously, I need to adjust some colors again and again. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Some of the adjustments are gonna be made with glazes. For example, for the green here, you know. A glaze, a glaze here that's gonna just get it. It's gonna get me, put me to the color a little bit faster. Let's say that I'm just mixing again and again and again. And at the same time, I don't need to, I don't need to get that close, you know. Uh, for this, yeah, I'm gonna try to get really close, but for the background, yeah, I don't, okay, uh, but I think, okay, I need more light. Now, now I'm going to work on the shadows, okay? I worked on the lights, then the sky. Basically, everything it has a, a second layer, not, not a shadow. Now, I'm going to work on the shadow. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What color I need? I need more orange here. Yeah. You see that there's a difference between the shadow here and the shadow here. Okay. Obviously, the light is coming from the left, from up, and it's bouncing back. You know, in that effect, that effect affects the color here. Okay. Mix again. I'm gonna mix on green, touch of red, touch of white, more yellow. I'm trying to get to get a grayish color. Let's try this one here. I got a brush here for blending. Do you think? I think it's close enough.
I'm gonna just uh, add more water here, make it transparent, and paint this. I want to add a glaze here. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of orange, yellow and red. Oops. The red is drying on the palette. A bit more of yellow and then mix a little bit of the green here. Add more yellow here, more white.
A lot more light here. Just uh, checking my lights, okay? One second. Okay, this one here, more white, touch of yellow, more white. It's going to be here for the lights. Oh, I, I just, um, okay, I forgot to paint the portion here of the sky. Oh, still wet. white, touch of yellow, A little bit more yellow, and you know that's gonna it's gonna take a lot just to kind of go back and forth. And I'm trying to work on details at the same time. You know, I'm trying to get closer on on the values. How light is this? Uh, 
how bright is I mean maybe I need more yellow less yellow since there is no blending between light and shadows basically I stay working on the lights I fade the paint you know with this uh, wet brush and after a little bit I'm gonna move to the shadows okay and then again and while I'm doing that obviously I'm changing a little bit of the color and adding just uh, more details I mean details is about just putting more time on the painting that you know uh, the more important that's gonna be always establish the difference between light and shadows okay okay at the end you know if I got the values pretty close like let's say that here I'm getting close like we see light and shadow I can change the color just by adding glazes okay is for example here I don't see that's too green, green enough I just can pick up green and add a glaze Okay, now I need tiny brushes to work on the eye. I need, uh, I had here one really tiny brush, what is it? Okay, I don't know what is it. I don't know, just any, uh, maybe this one is gonna work. Uh, it's not that tiny, it's not pointy, but anyway, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna be for to work on the on the eye. Painting the eyelashes. And the light on the iris. Okay. Let's see, uh, I don't have too much space for the upper eyelid. Okay.
Moving the lower lid a little bit up. I made a mistake there. Be back. Yeah, it looks okay. I'll be back to work on the eye, but right now I think it's okay. Okay. Now let's uh, let's work on some here, some um, muscles on the face. Definitely is much better when we know more more ways about <clears throat> about the anatomy of, of uh, the horse face. Not a little bit, not that much. But if somebody wants to specialize in painting animals, you know, consider study anatomy. There's a vein here. Okay. I'll, keep, I'll keep working with two brushes, one brush to apply any color that I'm applying at the moment, and the other one for blending. <coughs>
Been back. Mm -hmm. I'm just comparing right now and thinking uh, what color I should change and about the contrast on the face. Okay, I'm gonna continue working on the mouth. I think I need to do a lot more here. I see a lot of reflected lights. yellow uh, I see a reflected like here on the cheek on the bending ball What are my brushes? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try a uh, glaze. I'm gonna use a firm brush here. Okay, I wanna just uh, soften a little bit in this area of the face. Okay, just the same color that I've been using to paint the lights white and yellow basically but they have a lot of light a lot of water sorry okay i'm doing this and basically what i'm doing is knocking down some mid-tones kind of even up with light but not completely because that's why I'm using a glaze because I want to see a little bit of the shadows not that much but a little bit of the mid-tones basically and the same here it's pretty transparent definitely as it dries I'm gonna you know everything that's been if it's gonna show through again but Obviously, my intention is just knock down 
and even up. You know this. I uh, got too much light here. You know that area is a little bit darker because that's turning. You know that's turning here on the mouth. Okay. For that, I could use a glaze too. This color here. Glaze, okay, just transparent. This is a glaze, for example, it looks pretty bright. As soon as it dries, it, you know, it kind of vanished. Question you have? just dabbing in this way I can get a little bit of the texture you know the skin texture of no yeah, that's okay okay I'm gonna add a little bit of lights uh what color uh, this color here I'm gonna add more white Details here to uh, the rains. I think I, I'm pretty sure there is another name for this, but anyway, that's the name I remember now. Now I'm gonna add more glazes because I want to get closer to the color. Uh, I think it's time for glazes. For example, here I see more yellow. Yeah. We can gla add glazes anytime we want. You know, and just just can go back to work again. Um, adding more and more paint, scumbo, You know, all the techniques just works pretty good when we paint with acrylics okay yeah now 
Uh, it's not like the color is pretty close, but I think it's close enough. I have to add the, again the lights. Let's see if the same color works for the shadow here. Now remember that when we wet the paint, like now, like I'm doing, it looks immediately lighter. As it dries, you know, it darkens up again a little bit. Here I see that it's a little bit darker, I even I see a little bit of green. Obviously, all the colors around the horse are just bouncing back. You know, remember color theory rules, when the light, the heat is warm, okay, the light is gonna bounce back. And that's the reason that we see a little bit of warm color here on the chest and the neck. But we see some green here too, you know, the green obviously is because of the grass. Yeah. And at the same time, we see a little bit of orange. Kind of a really warm reflected light here. Why is that? Because the sunlight is bouncing back. Okay, and we see that. I need a clean brush to soften that. Yep. Okay. That's better. And add more water to make it this pretty transparent. When I paint something transparent, obviously it's gonna, we're gonna see through the layer and it's gonna affect the painting in some way, but it's not gonna affect that much all the values that we already painted, you know, light and shadows. Okay, I'm squinting down my eyes and trying to compare. Yeah. Looks like it's a little bit closer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I was speaking about the neck because I was trying to get that color. I'm gonna add more of this color here. I'm pretty sure I have, I have green here, but I think we find it. I just wanted to add some green glaze here. I'm gonna have to mix it, you know, yellow and blue, green, a little bit of water as a glaze. Like that this, okay. This is pretty transparent. Here's a little bit darker too. Okay, maybe we can add an accent here, make it even darker. Yeah, yeah that's better. And here too. Yeah. Better, yeah. 
Okay, and you can work in the upper portion, the ears. Let's put more water here and the reins. I need. I, I don't know. I mean, I know that the reins are black. It looks really black. Yeah, but I think that maybe the color I have is enough. It's dark enough. Hmm. Be honest, I gotta think about that. Yeah, I'm gonna continue working and I think about that, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna paint a little bit first, just pure black, just here, to see how dark it's gonna be this if I just follow the photograph. I mean, obviously, I'm following the photograph and copying the photograph, but Maybe this kind of contrast is not going to work on my painting. You know what? I like it. Uh. I'm playing this with a little water. Okay, uh, I gotta go. I gotta go, go up and work up here. Work on the ears to make the, to paint the ears a little bit darker. Oh, hello, Christopher. Thank you.
I need a liner brush. I had one here, but I cannot find it. Yeah. I need it really bad for you know this for the hair for the mane here. I have family on the south here in my country and I got a couple of uncles that they have farms. I don't go there like for years but the last time I went it was when I was in my maybe 16 yeah. and this uncle was well, the uncle I don't I don't, don't even remember exactly which one it was but he has some horses. No, I mean, not this. Uh, this, you know, uh, this one looks like he went out from the, the salon, salon, you know, how you say, look at the mane, it's pretty nice. But the horses I remember on my uncle's farm, you know, they are not that nice. Uh, more they have more fur and they're more like kind of they say thicker maybe it depends you know the work they do it's just like this horse is just you know it looks like it's about to go to tomorrow for a photograph while the other ones uh, they look ready to go to work <laughs> to do hard work Okay, I'm gonna use the same color to add more light here, just as a, as a glaze. Add light to the point that looks like it's, it's kind of gold hair, you know, gold mane.
Oh, Kitachik, Kitachik. Hi, Renzo. Sharon. Oh, Sharon, here from Patreon. Oh, hello, Sharon. Can you put my name on this one if it goes up for sale? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will do. Thank you. Yeah. As soon as I uh, uh, finish up some things, you know, I'm going to just start selling paintings again. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Okay, I'm going to stay just trying to paint more and more details. I think uh, the, the nose here is pinky enough. Yeah. I was thinking to add a glaze there to make it more pinky. Now, I think about the light on the face. Where's the lightest light? Obviously, it's around here. Yeah? I got this light that looks pretty bright. I think I'm going to knock down the light a little bit, just a tiny bit. much yellow if I add if you add yellow to knock down the light it's gonna look brighter instead of uh, uh, still of uh, 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 I mean instead of knocking down it's gonna look brighter I gotta use a mute color uh, this one I think it's gonna be okay maybe just a little bit okay. now uh, I gotta think about the lights and highlights on the head white and a touch of yellow always to have brightest highlight okay. you can even add really thick paint for highlights why because of those highlights for real are going to catch you know some real light and that I think that helps a lot Uh, let's see. Well, I closed the photograph on my screen for my mistake. Okay, let's see the highlights on the face. Okay, it looks like it's up here. Mm, I'm squinting down my eyes. You know, yeah, it looks that here and pretty sure on the nose is here I'm gonna 
check out later after it dries maybe I'm gonna knock down some of the slides with glaze not so sure yet I'm just adding more light or let's say highlights and I try to add create some texture with more paint in this way in this way I mean those areas I'm gonna catch some light you know for real I mean what I what I, just what I said you know because because of the texture is getting some light from up I'm gonna look brighter Sure, sure is saying I still have trouble trouble with the acrylics, but glad you have the channel now. Oh, that's pretty good. Hello Sharon. Yeah. I wanna try uh you know I have been watching some acrylic channels and looks like uh I don't know how, how to put it, but looks like there are kind of a lot of techniques. To be honest, I didn't know about that. Sorry, because of my my ignorance about that. But uh, you know, like, uh, which is pretty nice. You know, but I mean, I mean, what I mean is, I'm gonna have to study little bit more of acrylic yeah. okay squinting down my eyes trying to see difference always uh, see if you like this light is here and here no other light should be as bright as those okay that's the principle to create volume no okay uh, that was with that uh, Okay, let's go now to wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, need more light here. Um, or maybe it's, you know. Oh, I noticed that it's kind of too straight, and looks like it's not like that. Oops, that's not the color. Looks like the struggle for everybody with acrylics is just uh, the acrylics dry faster. But I could say that don't fight that. I mean, just that. I know it's, it's easier to say than than doing that, but that's what I try to do every time that we you know the paint with acrylics. Try always take advantage of the possibilities that we all have when you use different materials, you know, because each each material has their own their own characteristics and uh, it's better than, than change the material to do what we want just to adapt and just kind of follow what the material does in just that to our vintage. Mm. 
more gel on my palette. Thinking, oh, I was thinking about doing this. the back compare yeah I still want to soften a little bit uh, the light here maybe a glaze yeah and you know this the rain here just is okay yeah mm. yeah something happened there I added a glaze, a yellowish glaze here. Now I need, I think I need to add again yellowish glaze.
I didn't use too much of the black you could hear. I thought, you know, I was gonna use it a little bit more, but Check out the pupil. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, uh, gonna make this a little bit darker. A touch of pure red here, okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, I need black for the pupil. Another brush. I have this one here, more yellow. Okay, mm. no, glazes again. I'm gonna add a little bit of a pink glaze. Okay, here around the eye. You gotta check out how much, how to spread this, the glaze you apply, or if it's opaque, you know, or how much water you add, or if the glaze is opaque. Opaque is when you add white. But if you add a lot of water, it's not gonna be transparent. Transparent. It's not gonna be fully. Opaque, sorry, it's not going to be fully opaque because it has a lot of water. Okay, 
what if I add more pink here? Ooh. Too much, yeah. Now uh, I can just uh, wipe it off with you know more water, but. Is that working on my painting? If that's working on my painting, I'm gonna just keep it. Okay. Uh, let me step back and check out. I like it, you know. I think uh, it makes this pop more maybe than the photograph. Uh, of it change, you know. It change a lot. I mean, this and this change. I make make the the horse obviously more pinky. Uh, when that happens, you know, you don't like it because maybe somebody's just trying to copy the photograph perfectly as much as possible. You just pick up water on a brush and just wipe it off, you just kind of clean it, okay? I'm gonna keep a little bit of that because I like it. I'm cleaning that here. I'm gonna keep it here. Okay. And uh, since obviously the light is coming from up, it's a warm light. It's not gonna be fully uh, pinky. There's gonna be some uh, warm, warm reflected light. I'm mixing orange, a lot of water. Okay, and I think I can add this here. Yeah, the light is bouncing. Definitely, there is a little bit of this. I know it has to be there, okay? I don't see it that clearly, but I know the light bounces. And if this the sunlight, let's say, uh, is red, there's gonna be red here because it's gonna bounce back. We know the light, the sunlight is yellowish, you know? Orangey, yellow, a warm yellow. That's gonna bounce back. That's why we see, I mean, I explained that before, that's why we see this area a little bit warmer than here. And that's why we see here the same reason, it's warmer. Mm -hmm. What else? I would love to spend more time painting here. Just gotta gotta go to it. No. I like it. Uh, maybe a good. Um, knock down. Just a little bit dark. Just a tiny bit. Obviously, it's not darker here because the light is hitting all, you know, all his back. I uh, just want to do that just to, let's say, don't see that. And just keep the tension here. Okay. Okay, I think uh, that's it for today. What else? I see the face, you know, what about this? I mean, now I stop, I stop uh, you know, I lean back a little bit and I saw this. Maybe I should soften that edge. I see down the photograph, yeah? I like it, but hmm. what do you think? No, I'm gonna keep it just like that not yeah oh hello create 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 yeah just give me what brand of paint are you using I'm using PBO I don't know if that's the way to pronounce it sorry here it is studio PBO
now this portion is too orangey I'm going to do something there uh, okay this greenish color is pretty lightly with more water When I knock down, use this orangey color. Oh, create this asking me, do you use medium with your acrylics? No, no, use water. I mean, that's, maybe that was the question, if I use water or not, uh, but uh, the thing is I don't use any other medium, but I know there are so many mediums out there for acrylics. Create the scene. I find acrylics to be much harder than oils because they dry so fast. This looks amazing. Thank you. Uh, I think it's just about getting used to the material. Yeah, but uh, that's my opinion. Uh, I mean, uh, did you? got used to something too much and then changed to try a different material definitely definitely it's, it's not it doesn't it's not gonna feel that okay it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to what happens with the new you know, the new material i think that happens at both ways you know for the people that paint with oils and they move to paint with acrylics and the people that put paint with acrylics and they move to paint with oils. Now, what I want to is uh, find maybe some acrylics that, I mean, and it's not, for me, it's, it's not about the, 
find acrylics that dry slower just maybe I could say to find some brand that looks more uh, like uh, thicker let's say you know but when I want to add more thicker layers because I, it's just like when sometimes when I add thicker paint with acrylics they kind of uh, how do you say sink they don't stay on the canvas sometimes we want that obviously I, I cannot ask that much to what I'm using because it's a gray student gray Obviously, if I want more, I should move to a professional grade. Yeah, but anyway, I have here anyways, everybody that had the paint with acrylic saying that obviously it's always, it feels the same way, you know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how, I mean, how good or expensive or whatever it is that, the brand personally I have tried uh, a brand that is here uh, is, is an, let's say a national brand here in Peru you know there's so many acrylic painters they use that brand and is three times you know uh, this PBO is it's okay it's not expensive but this the national brand Peruvian brand it's three times the price of PBU. And for so many painters, they think it's pretty good. I'm gonna try that definitely. Yeah, the only the only thing that I'm gonna try on a, try on a few paintings. The other thing is sometimes people want to, you know use the same materials to get the same results and if I start using the material that <laughs> nobody's gonna find anywhere just here I think that's gonna be a problem for a lot of people for a few people maybe Personally, remember, uh, I don't rely on the material that I'm using. It's always, you know, about values. It's always about, it's just the same thing, it's always. You know, the good thing about, obviously, acrylic and paint and oil paints is just, the procedure is kind of similar. Just the dry time is the difference. Yeah, but if I work, if I could decide to work with very color, that would be a different story. No, the more I start working on details, it's like uh, first things I'm just trying to simplify. I don't see too many details, but as I start working on details, it's like I start to see more. And I start to see little things here and there, lights, and you know, more and more. And it made me want to stay more time just trying to work on those smaller areas. Okay, almost at the end. It's not something that is just for the end, you know, but it's just like glazes. I apply glazes anytime. I don't wait for the end. The scumble is the same. I could scumble anytime, but for some reason, the scumble for me is kind of uh, keep it. I mean, I gotta say that more, most of the time I find myself scumbling at the end of the process. You know, I pick up paint. I take up the excess and I do this just with a dry brush. No, 
With acrylics, you could do this any time and just repaint that again and again. You know, there's not a, it's just, it's just like uh, it, nothing is going to happen if we glaze, scumble, and we don't keep an order. But I find myself just doing this usually when I'm planning to make some few retouches and maybe don't, maybe getting too close to, you know, wrap it up the session. paint another thing about scumbling that's pretty nice that sometimes it shows the tooth of the canvas and sometimes that works pretty nice you know it works as a texture sometimes we don't like that I mean it depends what you're painting I think And it's coming just with basically a light color, but it's not just for lighter colors. You can pick up any color to scumble. Even for the background, even, you know, anything. Just be sure not to use water and always take up the excess of paint on a piece of paper. Like that, and then you use it. And obviously you can add more and more colors and create more and more layers. See a little bit of a little bit of light blue. Can you see it? Here. Obviously that's this the the light from the sky. Okay. I think that's okay for today. Yeah. I'm gonna add some retouches, something more. And maybe I'm gonna post it on here on the community, the channel. Yeah. Yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much everybody for being here I wanna just try to go live maybe once a week or twice a week let's see let's see definitely painting you know uh, painting up something more than portraits I mean it's more relaxing painting something I mean portraits are more stressful <laughs> uh, speaking about that because the people that know me that the paint portraits okay that's it for today. Thank you so much, everybody. See you next time. Take care, y'all. Oh, sure. Thank you, sure. Okay, sure. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna keep it this one for you.
looking for something wet here. Nothing. All of a sudden, I see more and more mistakes. Uh, va value mistakes. I mean, things that should be darker. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, but I wanna stay. I wanna stay really touching.